What's up guys, Dr. Sina here, and in this video we're talking about nerves. So we're going to talk about some of the main functions of nerves, then we're going to talk about nerve damage and how long it takes to recover from nerve damage. So let's get right into it. Alright, so the two main types of nerves we'll be discussing today are sensory nerves and motor nerves. So sensory nerves basically allow you to get feedback from the environment on what's going on. So it gives you information such as the sensation of touch, pressure, vibration, and temperature. Motor nerves give you control over your body and uh, allow you to move and control your muscles. So right now, if I was going to uh, make a bicep, my brain would go send a signal through my spinal cord out to the specific nerve that supplies the bicep. And then you would just do this and you have movement. Um, these nerves can get damaged. When they do, what happens is the nerve cell or the axon will actually shrink to try to conserve energy and repair itself. Now let's talk about the repairing process a little bit and some of the timelines and how long that can take. All right, so healing times for nerves really depends on the type of injury. If a nerve is bruised or injured but not actually cut or torn, it will heal in approximately six to 12 weeks. Now this depends a lot on the person, their diet, lifestyle, if the aggravating factor or the thing that injured the nerve, the pressure, for example, on a muscle, if it's removed, um, if a nerve is cut or torn, what will happen is the two ends of the nerve will slowly try to grow and find each other. Now the nerve actually will shut down for about four weeks to conserve energy and then it'll start to heal. During um, the healing process, they grow one millimeter per day to try to reach each other. Now, if there is surgical intervention, usually the success rate is higher because the um, two ends can meet and repair. But sometimes what happens is they don't really find each other well and they end up creating a bundle of nerves that aren't very organized and this is called a neuroma. Now you often hear this in the foot called Morton's neuroma in between the toes. You have the nerve and there's constantly friction in between the toes. So there's injury and healing, injury and healing and what happens is you end up with a disorganized array of nerves. Again, a bundle called a neuroma and usually those are very painful, especially if there's pressure applied to them. Now let's talk about the difference between motor and sensory nerves and how that affects healing time. So sensory nerves, again, were the ones that are responsible for touch, pressure, vibration, and temperature. Uh, those ones are very resilient and can actually recover long after an injury has taken place, sometimes months, sometimes years. Motor nerves, which are the ones that control your muscles, because of the nature of the anatomy, they are quite sensitive. Um, motor nerves are like an electrical cable, basically, that attaches to a muscle and gives it its signal to move. The attachment part is called an end plate. That is what makes it sensitive. The end plate needs constant signal from a nerve to stay active and stay healthy. If an end plate doesn't receive nerve signal for approximately 18 to 24 months, it will actually slowly die off and the muscle that attaches to that end plate will atrophy and also die off. So what happens is uh, surgeons will go in as quickly as they can, try to catch it before it's too late, uh, repair the nerve or take the pressure off the nerve, whatever the injury may be, to try and save as much of the muscle and end plate as possible. So that's another thing to take into account when it comes to healing time. So as you guys can probably tell, this is quite complicated and it's uh, on, depending on a case-by-case -case basis, what the injury is, and on the person themselves. So if a nerve is injured, a shock is delivered to the nerve, what'll happen is you will have pain, numbness, tingling, weakness, and it all depends on how bad the injury is. So the worse the injury is, the less you'll be able to feel that area and the less movement and control you'll have over that area. So sometimes you'll see people with um, a big disc herniation affecting some of the nerves in the low back, have something called foot drop and that's when you can't lift your foot up off the ground and you kind of have to pick up your entire leg just to take a step. Um, now as nerves start to heal you may actually increase the amount of pain that you're feeling because that nerve wakes up and starts to feel sensations again. When nerves are growing sometimes you even feel jolts or shocks of lightning um, in the area or the pattern of the nerve. So slowly as you heal, it's normal to get a little bit worse before you get better. Um, my best recommendation for you is obviously if it's a bad injury, uh, get a surgical consult. We do send our patients out to their family doctor or through, to a specialist to get consults when necessary. 
Or if it's not so serious, like just a disc bulge or a pinch nerve in the neck or somewhere down the arm, um, it's important to get it treated ASAP, just to get pressure off the nerve, um, remove any impingement through any muscles, and allow that nerve to actually heal before it gets injured even more. Um, basically, if you think about it, it's like when your arm falls asleep. If you choke off one of your limbs, like your arm or your leg, slowly it's going to start to go numb, it's going to tingle, then it's actually going to feel like it's twice the size as it is and it will eventually completely just be limp, you won't be able to feel anything and you won't be able to move it. Now as you let go of that pressure, slowly you're going to start getting feeling back, it's going to tingle a lot and then it's going to, you're going to feel these prickly sensations and eventually slowly you get movement back as the um, nerve gets fresh blood and oxygen supply. So if you just take that and extrapolate it to an injury and make the timeline a little bit longer, that'll sort of give you an idea of what to expect. My best advice for you is if you're experiencing nerve pain or you think you have a nerve injury, go get it checked out right away. The quicker you can allow a nerve to heal, the better the healing results will be and the more function you'll have left over once the nerve has actually healed. If you leave it alone and just wait and see, you may not regain full sensation or full motor function. Um, see whoever you need to see. Go see your family doctor, a physio, chiropractor. Just get it checked out. Um, if you can do some corrective exercises or get some treatments, which will take some pressure off the nerve and allow it to heal faster, you'll have better outcomes um, almost always. So guys, if you have any questions, leave them below. Find us on Instagram. I always engage with you and try and answer all your questions. If you like this information, give it a like. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.